We know that every organization works for profit and so do we. Profitability is not only a measurement of efficiency in increasing revenue, but also the flow through. In the last few years, we have discussed this in depth. We know well how to get profitable transactions because of which we witnessed rise levels in 2021. Now we need to thrive on these efficiencies. What do we focus on to secure our leading position in the market and continue to thrive through the turbulent waters in today's time smoothly? Let me tell you the story of Abdullah who ran his own supermarket. Abdullah's supermarket got hit badly during the pandemic. Once the restrictions opened up, he worked hard to restart his business. Now, Abdullah wants to do things differently. Where to start? Definitely he wants more sales. Abdullah realized Ahmed buys eggs every morning, while Sarah buys water and vegetables once a week. Abdullah starts to recommend them additional items and give incentive to keep them coming back. Salam Ahmed, have this fresh loaf of bread for free. Hey Sara, we now have fresh local vegetable right from the farms. Great, it works. Now more money is coming in. Abdullah asks himself, what else can I do? Young Kareem stopped coming to the store. What is the reason? Kareem wants to buy online just like his friends do. Abdullah understands where he is lagging. He registers his store with a Bakala app and hires a delivery driver. Adam and Mike are always passing by his store on the way to school. Abdullah overhears a conversation between them, complaining how the school canteen didn't have much food choices. Abdullah smells the opportunity. He visits their school and ties up with the canteen to supply snacks. He added one more sales channel. Now more money is coming in his pockets. But he is not happy with himself, as less money is left from the additional inflow. Oh, his profits are not increasing as much. What should he do? He lists all his cost lines, rent, manpower, logistics, flyers in the building, etc. He realizes fixed costs should stay same and should earn more profit. He needs to do cost control. He can reduce manpower cost by better scheduling of his delivery drivers and employees. Abdullah is thinking, there are not many orders in the morning. Let's trim the number of cashiers in the morning. Evenings are heavy. Let's hire an extra part-time person for the peak hours. I can save on rent if I pay three months rent in advance as the landlord will give me 10% discount. I can reduce my logistics cost by consolidating my purchasing and getting only two trucks per week instead of five. Focusing on inefficient processes have sealed the leakages. My profits are up. So guys, what do we learn from Abdullah's story? What ideas and strategies did he focus on? Let's look at it from Kut's perspective, what we can do in 2022. Abdullah capitalizes on the insights of, of his customers' data. We have a lot of insights too. Our recency data insights show how many customers are active and how many lapsed. These are the people who had already visited us once but did not come back. Can we connect with these customers and get them back to our store? A mere shift of 10% means an additional revenue of 550K or 1%. Our frequency data insights can help you find how many times an active customer visited us. Can we get them to visit us one more time? A mere 1% improvement means an additional 200K in top line. And then, just like Abdullah did, think of how can we incentivize our customers by having a world-class loyalty program. Reward your loyal customers by giving discounts, special offers, freebies, and make them feel special and recognized. And in turn, it improves retention. Get more referrals and ultimately more profit. Our BK Loyalty app can get an additional 150K of revenue and 62,000 in net profit. Lastly, 
the right GET in initiatives like Ignite will give the customer that wow experience. Personal touch matters and upselling becomes easy once you give them an out of this world experience. Let the word of mouth be the biggest advertisement and make them our brand ambassadors. Remember what Abdullah did? He went and tied up with the school. We also have a significant opportunity for tie-ups with schools, colleges, and universities. Previously, it had contributed around 438,000. That is 0.6% growth in the top line. You notice the contribution of Blue Lake Farms of more than 1% in 2019. Can we get more such places? Yes, we can. Apart from this, V3 is a very big opportunity and this will be an additional sales channel for us. We estimate an extra 200,000 in incremental sales from this. And my friend Karim will show you what an exciting opportunity this is. I am also very much excited about our own two taps, PD Bunny, which will bring organic growth and additional sales channel of revenue and reduce our dependency on third party aggregators. This is another 181,000 revenue in our pockets. Do you recall Abdullah's worries? Yes, we should be very mindful of our marketing expenses. Ensure every transaction is a profitable transaction. We should not be paying more than what we expect to get out of. Maintain optimum flow through. We know from before that every additional KD that we bring earns higher profitability. Our PNL gives us a clue that every KD that we earn gives us around 380 fills or 38% to the bottom line. My challenge to you is to improve this and get it past the 40% mark. Just like Abdullah did, let's dive deep and look to seal the leakages within our operations that will enable us to be more profitable. One such area is the delivery system efficiency. This includes the driver productivity, complaints and cancellations. Here lies a massive opportunity within our reach. Driver productivity is currently running at 2.2 per hour and our target for 2022 is 2.4 per hour. This means we can deliver additional transactions with the same number of drivers. This translates to an additional 1 million KD in revenue. Our cancellation rates are also high at 2.15%. Improved driver productivity will help us reduce this to less than 1%. Let us look at what we can do in the cost of sales. Our experienced operators and team are managing this very efficiently. However, let us focus next year on the inventory management. This is about ordering the right amount and making sure your prep is proper. If you don't manage your prep right, it goes to waste. We know our waste management targets are 0.5%. Yet as of now, 103 out of 219 stores have more than 0.5 wastage. Management of this directly improves our bottom line by around 100,000. Now let us look at how we can manage labor costs by focusing on training. Training is not a waste of money. The more you train, the more efficient an employee gets. They not only make food faster, but they make it accurately. Not preparing food accurately is a considerable cost. Complaints relating to missing orders, wrong orders, services, and cold. Total around 11% of all the complaints, which is more than 75,000 orders. Every complaint has its cost. You risk the customer being lapsed or lost if you don't solve them in time or to the satisfaction. You may have to give out free food, vouchers, discounts. The proper training means your every order gets fulfilled 100% perfectly. And that's an immediate improvement to the bottom line. Scheduling also plays a vital role in controlling labor cost. Pay attention to our team's weekly schedule. When they come in, when they go. It's about scheduling the right employee in the right place. It's about aces in the right places. To summarize, find new revenue channels. Get new customers. Don't let them lapse. Reward and incentivize them with our loyalty program. Maximize your flow through. Maximize your marketing ROI. Improve your delivery systems, manage food costs and inventory management and waste reduction. Manage your labor costs by better training and scheduling. Abdullah had his struggles and took the challenge to overcome them and found ideas and implemented it. We also have our challenges and have the opportunities in front of us. 
the only thing we need to do now is to implement our ideas and i'm confident more than ever that this year will be one of the best years in the history of google